Hi, today I'll show you how to make this neon transition. We will start by placing simple images on timeline side by side. Add a null object above first image. Then trim it. Add another null object and trim that as well. Now attach the image to first null. Then attach the first null to second null. Add scale keyframes to the image. Unlink the scale to stretch the image. Highlight both keyframes then go to the graph editor. Here make sure you are working under value graph mode. Highlight the graphical points. Then press this curves button to make them curved. Make a curve like this on the red line. In order to fix the black areas, I will put a CC Repertile effect on the image. Set the preset to unfold, and increase the values. By the way you don't have to do it for all the images, the rest of the work is copy paste. Now open position of the first null, right click it and separate dimensions, add keyframes to both, and move them forward. Now change the value to move the image, and add new keyframes. Highlight all the keyframes, then go to the graph editor. Highlight the graphical points, then press this curves button to make them curved. Make a curve like this on the red line. Nice. Now open position of the second null. Add a keyframe. Leave that here and go forward. Separate dimensions. Now change the values, so the image moves to the left. Do the same graph editor step with this. We have the motion ready. Now you just have to copy paste it to other ones. I will copy the scale keyframes from image. Paste them to the second image. Adjust them both, if they are too small or too big. Paste the keyframes on the third image as well. Copy paste CC Repertile effect on all images, to fix the black areas. Add two null objects above the second image. Then attach them as shown. Do the same with the third image. Then copy keyframes from first null. Paste them to the first null of the second image. Now copy keyframes from second null. Paste them to the second null of the second image. Do the same thing with the third image. Your clips now have looping movement. Select them all and pre-compose them. Make a duplicate of this layer.
put a fine edges effect on it and invert it. Then drop a tint effect to color the lines. I will keyframe the color, so it changes as the new image appears. Purple, orange and blue. Then add opacity keyframes like this. Basically making the lines fade out as the image appears. Here I put a shift channels effect which is not necessary, you can skip this. Now I will put a deep glow effect, to make the lines bloomy. You can use any glow effect that you have. There you have it. Very simple. Thanks for watching. Hit sub if it helped.